Anybody else? Anybody else on drugs? I'm on Mountain Dew Spark. I was thinking about this. In my mind, I could create this whole philosophical like narrative about skateboarding selling out for us, like rehashing iconic spots in skateboarding and then like using them to sell contest sponsorship. But then I was like, who gives a f it's funny, skateboarding, you can choose to do that if you want. Favorite trick. You, said you've been you can choose to, like, figure out why everything is, like, there's a fucking problem with everything, if you want to. Sean Jordan, Felipe Gustavo. Deshaun has two drink sponsors? This will sponsored by Essentia and A-Shock? I love Matt Berger. He got no stees at all. Listen to the ground. What's up with the ground? It sounds like it's, like, a, a wooden panel. We got Britain. Doesn't that sound weird? Is it just the acoustics? Oh Dude, this God. is one of the worst Felipe fits we've seen yet. He's got the skate and destroy pants on with the Adidas long sleeve print. It looks like he's wearing a jumpsuit underneath a white t-shirt. Is P-Rod wearing Versace shades? All that collab money, dude. Holy cow. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, that was burn. wet as kick hell. Flip, kick flip frontside nose grind. That's shocking. This dude, <laughs> Andrew Cannon, has said shocking like wow. 80 times. Oh my. We had P Rod just counting his money. Kind of hard to see through these Versace shades. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe that. Don't that give Nija any incredible. money. Must be not Look at his face. Oh my. Oh. And I was like, I, I wipe my ass with this. This is nothing to me. He made $80 from his Nike contract just in the time of P-Rod handing him that money. Oh my god, dude, he's doing these like first try. Dude, I hope he starts skating Street League. He's gonna, he's gonna have some, he's gonna have some money coming in, dude. Braden needs to stop running away from the guy in Versace glasses holding out money. Where are you going, man? I kind of see this like how Milton belittled Nuja's hill bomb. It's kind of fucked. It's like a sanitized version with like contest skaters like trying to hit it. Like all the soul has been completely removed from the spot for sure. I mean, look at it. They probably should have like got some graffiti artist to draw on it or something. Like, maybe make it look a little bit better than this. I mean, it's just in the back of, like, some corporate area, like some warehouse in Mission Viejo, California, it looks like. off. Like I said, you can do a whole mental exercise about how skateboarding is selling out, and it's selling out its history to profit and advertise, like, A-Shock energy and stuff. You can do that if you want to, because the hypocritical aspect of taking that approach is, like, I enjoy this kind of content, honestly. So for me to be like, oh, you know, this is wrong and it's like a betrayal of skateboarding's history and stuff. It's like, I can't then also sit here and stream it and be and try to entertain you guys and also be entertain, entertained by the spectacle. You can make the argument, but I'm not gonna really make that argument because it's kind of disingenuous. If that was how I really felt, then I wouldn't be sitting here watching it, you know? You oh. about to go down. Nice, yeah, Jamie, good last. shit, bro. Oh my God, episodes. damn, Jamie. You don't, you don't. Oh my God, imagine that. <laughs> oh. Holy hell. Shock energy right now. Nose grind, I think. I couldn't. Ah, you tell. I hope he lands this. Roll away with that style that he has. Taylor Kirby, such a ripping skater. I love that. Taylor Kirby, such a ripping skater. So I'm gonna start introducing people. Yo, this is my homie, Greg, ripping skater. Parts. It's like some Jeff Rowley here. shit. Uh, Taylor Kirby's from Oceanside, California. Really Young like ripping style. skater. So gnarly. Wow. The fact that Desenzo is still going is honestly mind-blowing. No, it's not, you <laughs> There's nothing mind-blowing about it. Desenzo's been hurling himself down stair sets for 400 years for seven times as long as this on obstacles that are three times as large. This is a fucking sanitized contest spot. You go to the skate park and try a trick like on a fucking stair set for 10 minutes, and, and nobody's saying it's mind-blowing. This is the most annoying thing about contest commentary is their overstatements of things. Like, everything is to the extreme. No, nothing can be honest. Like, wow, Desenzo wants to land his other trick? Cool. It's like, good for Desenzo. It's like, the fact that Desenzo 
is still trying this. He's probably tried this about eight times now. That's mind blowing. Oh, at eight attempts is mind blowing? Huh. That's it. Oh. Switch crook. That was mind blowing. Yeah. Whoa, Desenza's got a dime sticky on there? That's fire. Wow. Oh. Desenza's like clothes just. I feel like his pants to be like hemmed or something. There's so much material. I feel like you can feel it when your pants are like too big where they start bunching in places that they shouldn't. That is unbelievable. What are those Those dogs? They have the really wrinkly skin. Sharpe? Yes, yes. He's got the Sharpe pants. Bruh. Nobody steal that from me. It's true to size. Vincent Malou loves that trick. He can do that. If he just puts he his can do a that. Imagine if the commentators just said straight up to like about one of the contestants like he can't do that I've seen this guy skate. There's no chance. He's doing that. Oh, Ryan is working for this one I feel like that's another thing is all these insights and stuff and being like he can do that It's only meaningful if it's also on the table for you to be like I don't know about that one big dog I love watching different sports where like NBA and stuff where the commentators aren't afraid, like they don't sound like they have guns to their heads, where they're like, mm, Trey Young is kind of having a bit of a shit game tonight. It makes me feel like I'm not being disrespected as a viewer. When I watch skateboarding contests, I feel like I'm at fucking daycare. We are in jam session. Are there only two dudes on the spot right, right now? now? Is it Tell just you. Vincent this and Ryan? Not, no way, these guys are really putting their all into it and I've only seen a few guys roll away. Being gone. I don't think that's true, I think that Everybody's landed a trick on here like besides Desenzo. Like they're hyping this up like it's like it's the dime glory challenge or, or some shit. Yeah, Shane dipped, huh? I love hearing <laughs> Shane went to hit his vape in the bathroom. Oh, That's God. good. Every Gotta land it to Drake. Oh, yes, sir. Wow. What an awesome guy. What an awesome so guy. Yuto is a ripping skater, there's no question about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Desenzo. Thank God. Give him one million dollars. That is the sickest thing ever. Good job. The frontside flip nose grind was so beautifully done. It does not look like he's been trying that for what feels like. It. Shut up! Both ways. Gotta have it both ways. It's so awesome that he tried it for an hour, but it doesn't even actually look like he did. That's how good he did it. It's like fucking nine club shit. Every single thing has to be spun into an amazing, awesome positive. It's like American syndrome. How Americans love saying awesome. Everything is awesome. Yeah, dude, we went to the beach. It was awesome. Oh, and we stopped for McDonald's and that was awesome. We went home and we watched SLX Resurrection, Hubba Hideout Edition. And guess what? It was awesome. In eternity. Man, that dedication <sighs> paying off right there. That was so awesome. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. You can't fucking make this shit up. <laughs> oh. Ryan, work for it. Oh my god. They just need a video of every try <laughs> to show Absolutely. how awesome. No, stop! <laughs> Fucking fire, Andrew. I'm sorry, man. Get him the fuck out of here. Oh, that is awesome. So that's always good at making those, those recap videos. That's mind blowing. <laughs> Dude! This is this dude's job, by the way. Does nobody give him show notes or anything after these things? I legitimately don't understand how you can have three adjectives, all of them being on the most epic fucking side of the extreme. This was awesome, epic, and it was mind-blowing. Oh, yes! I am so stoked. Desenzo looks like a kid. He looks like a child. The way everything about him. Front side flip. Oh. Fatty to flatty. Let's go. That was awesome. He just tried that trick for probably an hour, if not longer. Oh my god. Berger is going to do that. Did you see the way he fell onto his board? He knew how to yeah, fall out of that. That was amazing. Is he trying to say 
that he that he fell onto his skateboard on purpose. Accidental bails are now like being praised as skillful. Why, did you see the way he fell and then he landed on top of his board and rode away? What a skilled expert skateboarder. Even the bales are a demonstration of how awesome these guys are. You know what's crazy is Felipe already did that trick earlier, but he's trying to do it again. And that just shows you how dedicated he is. And I just think that's awesome. It looks so easy. That was huge to flat right there. <laughs> he did that so well. Yeah, he did. And it's like boom. Hell, you look at <laughs> Felipe over here. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> he should have just frontside when he did it. He he just tried that trick for so long. And how many times has he talked about how he fucking tried that trick? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mind blowing, awesome rippers. Absolutely oh my god. <laughs> kind of took some risks with that description there, Andrew. What was it? One of the raddest, raddest gnarliest, gnarliest, most, most. I agree. We saw the impossible 50 50 earlier, and apparently for him, he just can just go yeah i'll just take it to the nose grind now it looks so it's like how the marvel dudes talk so that just happened um yeah we saw him do impossible 50 50 earlier and uh i guess he can just say i'm gonna do nose grind now apparently and it hardly took him any tries which one is which one do you think is more awesome and epic guys do you think it's more awesome and epic when Desenzo takes 900 tries to do a trick? Or do you think it's more awesome and epic when Braden Hoban does it in barely any tries? I can't really decide which one is more mind-blowing, personally. This guy, he's a skate god. That's what he is. <laughs> Smooth. Nobody wants to skate this thing. Wow. <laughs> That's like, so funny. Sinclair's like, yo, man, you need to chill. We gotta go hit the streets tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. That was weird. This event was not that dope. And Andrew Cannon <laughs> made it so fucking hard to listen to. He's like, it's Friday. You know we got work tomorrow on Sunday. Right? It's Friday. It sounded like he kind of walked it back and realized that that accent was kind of fucked. He's like, it's Friday. You know we got work tomorrow on Sunday. Right? Also, Friday does not come after Sunday. There is ye olde Saturday in between, after all. The tripod. Oh my god. That's how much force he came down with. How are <laughs> Um he broke the tripod. That's how much force this guy's generating. That's how much force he came down with. Powerful. You know what? That means the next one he's Watch gonna roll away like those. water. That is not what that means. On a broken board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so sick on the broken board when he didn't get close. This is a replica, but it's the real deal. Oh, man, these guys are pissing me off, man. It's a replica, but it's the real deal. Yeah, great. Wow, yeah. That just happened. He's gonna Good do it job. right there for Matt Berger. He went so great hard. For so Is it? I'm pretty sure he can go back if he wants to. And Deshaun wow. Jordan hanging it up right now. With the clock running out, Braden is going to get one last try at it. On the road, Are you fucking kidding now, me? With the clock running out, Braden is going to... He's not up there right here. Right now, with the clock... What, what is going on? Felipe is up there in this shot. He wasn't in there one second ago. Unless there's teleportation involved. I mean, there's a completely gru different group of people on the stairs where this camera guy is standing. That's where Felipe Gustavo's standing. Why do they do this? What's the point? I mean, look, look, you can see Deshaun here. You can see his board. It's wood colored. I don't even have to explain this. You guys can see, but then he's there. That's his board. Why even fake it? The clock running out, Braden is going to get- with the clock running out, the clock was definitely expired. One last try at it. On the broken board. Oh! He did it! He did the kickflip back nose one! Wow! 
That's so cringe, bros. Why are they doing this? I mean, I know Street League is all about the moment, but like, we don't need to fake it. That sucks. Super, super duper whack. That, that was for you, Eric. That was for you. They didn't even do a good job of hiding it either. Maybe they paused the clock. Hmm, yeah. I don't think that that's how the jam format is supposed to work, though, is it? I think the whole point of the jam format is that the clock does not get stopped. Do you want to tell him? I think we're going to go with Brayden. We're going to go with Brayden. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm happy for him, dude. I mean, this contest sucks, but Brayden skated really well. I think he's going to be a really good contest skater if that's what he wants to do. He landed so many effing tricks. Rookie comes out of nowhere. What do you got to say? What are you going to do after this? Costin's like, get this fucking microphone away from me. What do you got to say? What are you going to do after this? <laughs> Costin is so funny because he... He participates in all of these events. Like, he does all the barrack shit as well, but simultaneously just gives off the vibe the entire time of being like, I do not fucking want to be here at all. It seems like he landed more tricks than he fell on. Is that a brick from the actual spotter? They just give him a random fucking brick? I, it's probably a, a random... It's probably from Home Depot recently. 